Hey there, y'all. I'm back stealing the Crip Monkey again. It's me, the Mi Wicked Witch from the Midwest, and today we are making a mushroom garden. And I am very excited to do so. I made all of the mushrooms with clay. I've got little stalks here, and then I've got the little tops here. We're going to be painting those today. And then we have our secret compartment spot right here, which is going to be our centerpiece. I'm very excited for that. But the first thing we are going to do is painting the mushrooms. So let me get this out of the way. And here come the mushrooms. So I've already picked out a couple of colors that I'm going to be using uh, for the stalks. I'm going to start with uh, this Citadel color because it's a nice basic tan sort of color which should work very well for it. I had a lot of fun making all of these uh, pieces of clay stuff because I also have this guy right here which is going to be going into our secret compartment uh, log which I'm very excited for uh, and that is going to be hiding our battery box for our lights and I'm just very excited for all of this. <laughs> But most of these mushroom pieces, I started off with either a roll, uh, like, a, like a little snake, or I started off with a ball and used the tip of a paintbrush, more like this one for the big ones. Uh, and I just rolled it out that way to get the uh, mushroom stalks and bulbs. I think that's what you call them. I usually just call them tops because that's what they are. <laughs> Threw it, but it was done anyway, so. <laughs> I'm missing a little tip on the stalks, partially because one of the sides is going to be buried in the moss and the other side is going to be underneath the mushroom, which you won't be able to see anyways. And I have to have a little spot to grab it from. So it's... I'm just making sure I leave as little as possible. And if I really wanted to, I could go back after I finish these and paint over the bottom. But it's um, not really something I need to do. So I'm just not going to. I am on the wrong stream somehow. Not entirely sure how I did that. Are you sure we're live? Because I can't find it. Yeah, we're live. Fun, fun. Oh, found it. Yes, <laughs> All right. I am actually in the right stream now, which is super helpful. Um, I came in late, so I don't see it. What does it say? Love the eye makeup. Oh, yes, thank you, Angie. Um, Mom actually did the eye makeup for me because I was trying to do a mushroom, but... Uh, there's a reason I paint miniatures and stuff like that is because I can paint, I can color in, I can do that stuff. I just can't make the shapes. Shapes elude me, unless it's a cube. I can make cubes and I can make circles. Not perfect circles, but I don't actually believe those exist, so I don't need to make them. <laughs> Right now I'm just base coating these and I'm probably going to do like a shade on top of them just to make them look a little bit more natural. I'm not going for a hyper realistic mushroom garden, but I'm definitely going for a cute one and I would like it to have a little bit of realism in it. Got to get that detail brush to get in to the crevice right here. <laughs> And I missed a lot of pieces. <laughs> Alright, I think that's definitely a good starting coat on that one. So. 
flinging water everywhere. <laughs> I got a, I've got a lot of skinny stocks here because I do have some that I want to be taller but thinner tops. Um, but I also have these really thick short ones which I'm excited to use on the big ones to just add to that cutesy look I've got that I'm going for. And I'm trying to make sure that I do all of my strokes in one way because with this type of brush you're going to get those streaks. And I'm using those streaks to my advantage here. That way it gives it more detail with minimal effort because that is always the goal. <laughs> They're all sticking to me, but that yeah, it works. <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun making all of these things it was it was a lot of fun to make these mushrooms and the mushroom stalks because I really just before I started I just looked at a couple of different references to figure out what shapes I wanted to do because uh, obviously you know you have to have some of the um, basic mushroom you know the red with the white dots um, but then you want to have some of those fun ones too to make it a special garden instead of just a uh, you know your average one with the red and white and that's it. I wanted a good mix of different mushrooms in there. And some of them are going to look goofy, but you know what? I'm goofy, so it works. I hear you giggling and that's because I'm goofy, father. But you can you can see in the um, in the fast in the speed paint thing happening at the at bottom at the bottom that my hands were very orange immediately on making these because it's this is why I tend to go for the um, white uh, air dry clay is because especially I think especially the air dry clay. Um, it stains your hands a lot, and if you use the white, it's, uh, it's a lot less, which I very much prefer instead of orange hands. <laughs> it took me like three or four deep washes of my hands to get that out. <laughs> Alright, so I might as well start with the red ones, because those are going to be the easiest, because the concept is very easy. I'm not entirely sure what's happening with this paint. I think someone tried to water it down because it's old. So we're just going to use a different paint because that's not what that's supposed to look like. Here we go. That is a that is a very good point to consider, uh, Mom, with the price. But I prefer the white one anyways, even though there there's a lot of downfalls to the white one because the white one dries faster and it's um it seems to be a little bit more brittle but I just don't like my hands to be look like I got a cheap uh skin <laughs> you know oh you tried you tried you failed Oh, yeah, this is this is the right red. That's a very pretty red right there. And I'm sort of just picking these at random here. <laughs> I know, I heard you throw your keyboard. <laughs> oh, helps if I keep the paint in hand. Yeah, this is like the perfect red for this type of mushroom. Uh, it darkens up quite a bit when it dries, but I can add a gloss to it at the end and make it really shine. In fact, some of these I might actually use um, some some of our glue and make it look like there's little dew drops on top. It should be like really cute. You're at the bottom of your frame when you're painting. Oh. Thank you. 
And as you can tell, unlike my mom, I do not try to not get paint on my hands because it is a fruitful venture. And it just will not happen. As you can see, I look like I have murdered someone. But as Creed says it best, oh, thank God it's Halloween. <laughs> what a what a helpful uh, coincidence right there. <laughs> I think that's enough of the red nice ones from specs. now. That looks awesome. <laughs> that's cute. I love the Illuminati squid. Mom, can I get No out? God! No God, please no! No! I think Sunbron no! wants me to continue with the red ones, no! but I can always go back to those. I just needed like one. But okay. It's raining paper towels up in this <laughs> Alright, so... Hmm. I don't know what color to do next. Do you know that one of the ones I'm going to uh, do is this uh, contrast paint? And I think I'm going to make it this one. But I'm going to need a base coat for that type of paint first. I think I'm going to do white underneath. I know boring, but <laughs> it's just a base coat, so. I'll look through the mini drawers to find, voila, a paint palette. Oh, it's going to need more paint than that. It's being fun. That's fun. All right. Here is the most magical tool of all. One of my favorite tools because it works amazingly for unclogging paint. And then you just clean that up. And voila. Slightly more paint. <laughs> Alright. Now I gotta do the mad fun thing and pick a brush. I'm gonna pick this one. Already forgot which one I chose. I think it was this one, because it's not on the thing. <laughs> and I didn't get nearly enough paint out. one of my favorite shirts with paint and that's why I never paint with the shirts I like <laughs> but I mean it's it's just white on um, army green so it should be fine not even noticeable <laughs> Did that scare God, you then? No! No! <laughs> no! I am unfazed. No! Y'all need to up your ante if you're gonna try to scare me. <laughs> Hi, Dorky Dino. Yes, I am painting uh, mushrooms to go into a mushroom garden. I'm very excited for it. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and uh, base paint a couple other ones. I'm always kind of random with my base coats, like, mm, yeah, I want to base coat this one. Nah, I don't want to base, co ba base coat this one. 
there's those two and I'm almost out of paint in my palette so that's what I like to call enough base coated <laughs> all right so now we are going to move to a different color which unlike a professional I decided not to choose my colors ahead of time Woo. <laughs> Uh, I want to do these guys in like um, a brown, but like a white-ish brown. Uh, no, that's too light. That's too green. <laughs> that's literally rust. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I know I can mix it, random person screaming from down the hall. Okay, I think I'm just going to start with my leather brown. Shake it up. Oh, it screamed in agony, but that is how you know it works. Uh, so it's actually a mushroom garden that's going to be going into this. You might be able to see it easier this way. It's going to have this guy in the center. So it's going to go like that. And then it's going to open up. And there is going to be a cart compartment right there for you. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was getting there. <laughs> um, and it, it is going to be a Halloween themed fairy garden. And I'm incredibly excited. Alright. What the paper towels are for? There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to try and be a genius. Nope. It looks like I am unable to be a genius, perhaps. Oh, no, that worked. I just put it at the base of a clay tool, that way I can hold it. <laughs> and it's almost the same color, but not quite. <laughs> I was, I was contemplating painting these beforehand uh, because it really is just going to end up being a lot of um, going back and forth and just painting these little things over and over again. Uh, but it's also the majority of what's going to be happening today. So I figured I might as well do it in person, do it uh, live. <laughs> Mama, if you'd like to come in here, you can, uh, just, cause mom is actually the one who made the, um, tree cause sh she can make trees and I can't because they're trees. <laughs> but if you would like to come in here and describe how you made it, that would be awesome. Well, I don't know if they can hear you yelling from the hallway. <laughs> I find it incredibly amusing. Don't know if they can actually hear you, though. Okay. So, I'm going to try to hold this behind their head. Uh I can back up. No. Yeah. No, let you can keep watching. I was just trying to 
trying to figure out the right side here. Hold on. Uh, that side. Um, um. <laughs> so basically, we found this um, container already done. Can you see that, baby? Yeah, I'm going to the biggest. Okay. So we found this container yeah. <clears throat> already done and everything. So all I did was put clay around the outside of it and you can see where parts of it broke off because it was completely covered but then I just painted that to look like the bark and not the bark this is the bark the flesh I don't know um, and then I made pieces that kind of came up higher and then made the circles that went in there used different shades of brown and different things like that to make it look like a tree it, it really is that simple you say that, except it's Shh. not. It is simple. Can you get me a Q-tip? I can get you a Q-tip. Awesome. Oh, and two picks. Um, also, remember, you can show these bits that fell off. Oh, yes. I, do, I do plan on using these also. We have um, these bits that came off of there while it was drying because it shrinks when it dries. Um, so I'm going to paint these, and then I'm going to... Uh, break them up a, probably a little bit more and then put them randomly inside of the garden. But I mean with the you can see the texture on there basically I slapped clay around the side of it and then I went a little bit slower than that. <laughs> but yeah pretty much I slapped clay all around the outside of it and then just scratched it because that's what bark looks like. I mean, like Sunbaran said earlier, when you break it down, everything is just a shape. All right, so now I'm gonna do the dots, which I'm literally just taking a Q-tip and poking it because that's the easiest way to make a circle. And as I said earlier, gotta work easier, not harder. I prefer the toothpick dot over the Q-tip dot. Yeah, but I want it to be cutesy, so I want the large ones. So that's right, why I wanted the small right, one also. One. And plus, there's, it, it, it's not a surprise if someone doesn't have cute uh, uh, toothpicks in their house, but most people I would think have q-tips in their house even though they're not supposed to be used for ears they're used for ears <laughs> all right put it down see it's already so cute oh. little one right there boom kind of reminds me of mario looks like a like a turtle shell or something it's cute I say that, except they have actual mushrooms that look like that. You're on the edge of the tree, Yeah, I already fixed it, Ma. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of just picking random spots because like mushrooms and everything else in nature, it's kind of random, but also has, makes sense, but also is random, but also makes sense. So I'm going with random. <laughs> but you can see the amazing transformation between that one and that one. It's, it's just a lot of fun. And I need more white paint. Okay, that was a little one, but you gotta get me bigger. It was more of a startle than a scare, because it was very loud. <laughs> oh, 
hear the dog woofing in the background, so we might get, get getting some barking soon. <laughs> Thank you, Sunbran, for the uh, 100 bits. I think those are bits. Yep. Thank you for the 100 zombies. Uh, oh, I think that's enough dots on that one, especially considering my hand keeps adding more. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, went outside and instantly started barking. <laughs> I don't think you guys can hear it, but there's absolute chaos happening outside right now. Man, this one's just getting perfect little circles on it. Okay, this one's my favorite. I'm allowed to pick a favorite child, and that's that one. Those guys are nice and simple. I like those colors. I have not kept these organized whatsoever. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to make a couple blue ones. Just like a bluish gray. This moonstone blue should be plenty well enough. Because... One, one, it's one of my favorite colors uh, that we have, but two, it's going to be a really cute color. <laughs> I think I might make those two red ones also, but so I'm going to start with these two. This one actually is one of my favorite ones because it kind of looks like what a Smurf would wear as a hat, which I think is part of the reason I'm turning it blue. <laughs> I always like to make the uh, brightest colors the poison ones because that makes more sense in nature. Like the, um, the most poisonous frogs are always the ones that are bright colors. The neon frogs are the poisonous ones. So I like to make the bright colored ones the... Uh... <laughs> nope, didn't get me. Oh, come on. <laughs> you raised me, Dad. I'm used to being scared constantly, and it's mostly by mom. Um, <sighs> ah! Y'all gotta try harder than that. <laughs> yeah, that is a very pretty blue. I might add a different color on top of it to give it more, a little bit more depth, but that's a, that's a good color. I like that color. You know, you'd think streaming so many days in a row that the people right next to the sound would be less likely to be scared. And Keep turning it up to try and get you and <laughs> get you more. <laughs> I like thinking of like this one being the baby one to this one. Like this is the fully matured version, and then this is the baby version that's still growing, but it only needs like a couple more hours because mushrooms grow really fast. It's really quite amazing how fast they grow. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy. Uh, but these guys are ready for their fancy smancy paint job. need to pick out the perfect brush. It's not going to be that crusty thing. 
Uh, nope. I'm going to use this guy. Oh, no, I have a large surface area. It's for actual acrylic painting, but it has a great bristle, so I'm going to use this one, even though it's like the entire length of my forearm. <laughs> you break it. I'm not going to break it, and you didn't get me. I was trying. I know you were trying. You tried badly. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, I love this color because it gets into the grooves of the gray of the clay. It's really nice. Yeah, I really like what's happening here. Oh, come on, Sunbran. I haven't eaten yet, and that sounds amazing. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be trying to scare me, not trying to make me quit the stream early so I can go eat. Nothing. But, uh, that is currently not breathing. Uh, I do believe you murdered him, Max, um, but that's okay because I get his money. <laughs> oh, this one looks exactly like a portobello mushroom. I could probably make a little, like, tiny uh, peppers to go inside of it, some red peppers. Probably not any green peppers. I'm not a huge fan of the green peppers. I really like the red and the yellow, though. This this brush is just so long. I don't I don't even understand how people use it for a normal acrylic painting. That was 250 bits for that. Was, oh, that yes. Thank you for the bits, Max. The 250. One thing I don't like about the makeup brushes, it seems like it takes a lot longer for those to dry. I'm just, I got a big pool happening here, so I'm just gonna, ooh, ooh, that was a good plan. Look at that. That is nice. There was a large pool there, so some of it had um, dried already, but the rest of it that I pulled off hadn't. So now I have that spot right there. Ooh, I love that. He literally went and just froze there for like a full minute. <laughs> I was about to... All right, all right. I wanted a camera over here. <laughs> you should. The people want to see you, Father. Uh, I think I'm going to cover the blue ones with this orange shade. I think that it's going to uh, really make the blue pop while also adding a depth of color. If I can choose the right brush. Ooh, let's go with a fan brush. I think that'll work really well. Or not, you know, that's also a possibility. How many brushes does it take? 500 million if you're doing it properly. Or three if you're also doing it properly. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Makes it look spotted, more poisonous. <laughs> You know, it's funny, usually when I'm painting miniatures, I only use like one, maybe two brushes. But whenever I'm painting big items like this, it's like this brush for this, and then this brush for this. And then some, like, I, most of the time whenever I'm painting, if I'm painting uh, like a normal size mini, I'll use one brush for the entire thing. And then I get to the details. And then I have 60 brushes next to me all of a sudden. And I don't know how they got there. But obviously I use them because they're in the dirty pot, pot pile. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I love how those turned out. 
I really like how these turned out, so I think I'm going to make these two into the red ones also. And then we have to figure out what we're going to do for this one. So you guys, you guys have to ch tell me what I'm going to do for that one. Because I don't know. <laughs> it's too much decision making for me to make. We are going to use this trick again because it worked really well. Ooh, I'm going to use the other side though because it's a bigger bottom. Like you really don't need very thick of a coat um, for this because it's it's a base is the type of paint. Um, so just a th nice thin layer uh, will dry pretty fast and you won't have any leak leaking through with the um, original clay color. Flip it around. Grab the next one in the weirdest way possible. Okay. I feel like I'm doing everything out of order, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Like these are just super, super fast to paint. And that, that startled me right there. Dropping that startled me so much. <laughs> like these are just really fast to paint and minimal effort necessary for these. Right. So, white with brown spots. Hmm. That might be cute. Orange center blended out to yellow with white spots. Maybe. I don't know yet. I might start with or yellow in the center and go out to orange. I think that sounds really fun. I might start with this edge with just like a, the a, like the smallest dot in the center and then work out from there. Probably with this. And then move out to... We don't have any oranges! Mom, you know we don't have any oranges. Why did you re recommend orange? Now I have to make an orange. <laughs> I'll mix these two to make an orange. Are you taking pictures of me? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, no. Those look a lot like these. Well, that's the yellow coming out of the edges. Oh, that's a better picture of it. I like I like to do it the opposite way, though. I think I like I like that idea. There's the white ones. Yeah. Uh, I just searched poisonous. These look pretty fit, similar to that. Yeah. Dot there. Yeah, orange is a pretty easy color to make whenever you have yellow and red with you. <laughs> Put that there. Time to go crazy. All right, that didn't. That wasn't very crazy. <laughs> Uh, we just need a different brush. There we go. That's a nice brush for this. Mmm, yes, I forgot I was using an ink, which means I need a base coat. <laughs> well, that didn't make it very far. Uh, let's grab the white back out. Nope. Be scared dad again. I'm going to out you every single time you get scared, father. I just want to make sure you're prepared for that. He's currently trying to take deep breaths, which I fully recommend, father. Please continue. 
You know, the best part is just listening to him go. <sighs> of course, I'm running the stream. Eventually, I'm just going to start clicking things madly and then it's going to go haywire. <laughs> Like when Sir's over here and starts walking over all the cords, just... So whenever Sir unplugs us, he's literally staring at me in the eye before he walks over the cord. Over, as in through the cord. Knocking out the stream, like the genius dog he is, because we aren't paying him enough attention. Unsurprisingly, I did knock it out enough white, so let's fix that. The white is pretty badly clogged. So let's try to see if we can fix it. See, I'm all the way through. All right. And then I'm going to pull it out and it's still not going to put let any paint out because it's just that nice. Yep. No paint. Most of the time that fixes the situation, but not always. So I'll just pour some more. Get paint all over my hands because that's how you paint. <laughs> Find the brush that you've lost. There it is. Base coat is done ish. All right, now it's done. All right, so we just gotta let that dry for a minute or two. <laughs> for those of you who did not know, that was me who just played that, and I think I just got dad. Yeah. Absolutely just used my mom's uh, points. Stop using your mom's account. <laughs> I have to on the iPad. Alright, so now we're going to paint this bad boy, which also needs a base coat. Woo! We're going to use the fan brush for that because it has a larger surface area. <laughs> And I'm out of white again. <laughs> oh, and now I got way too much white. My, goodness, my hands are absolutely covered in paint and I don't care because that's what I'm doing today is painting my hands and painting these. <sighs> I think mom's now using my points. <laughs> Just fair, absolutely fair. got red on my tree. No, on my tree. <laughs> and now it's a pink tree. <laughs> well, that should add an interesting color, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Honestly, it looks like a really cool ombre right now because it's pretty heavy pink over here and then white over here. It's pretty cool looking. Exactly. Exactly. Acrylics every single time all over your hands. Out of fail. Okay. 
Thank you for the large amount of snowmen that I am not going to count. 43. 43? Oh, thank you for the 43 snowmen. Yes, but snowman is more fun to say. My screen is currently frozen, but I can still see chat, so that's that's a plus. <laughs> what? It's a cheer wall like a narwhal. The animal of a narwhal. You mean the narwhal? You're saying narwhal. It's an A. Narwhal. One click. <laughs> One fist and you're down. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> it's Narwhal. Go ahead and vote in chat. Is it Narwhal or Norwhal? Sounds like you're trying to say Norway. Alright. Now I haven't really done a lot of wet blending, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. But the beautiful part about having so many mushrooms is not all of them have to make the final cut. Don't go too high. No, I'm gonna. I need to get, add more mm -hmm. yellow. Yeah. Yes, baby. I don't need tips and tricks. I can figure it out. We're gonna have fun learning how to do this together. Kind of looks like a sunrise or sunset, and it's really pretty. <laughs> Apparently there is a funny joke happening behind me, and I do no. not care. It was right on the screen. I, my screen's frozen. I can't. Oh. Sorry. Random joke. Take like a giant brush. Again, way too long. Did you just poop your pants? No. No? Because no. you look like you did. Sound like you did. Smells like you did. No. <laughs> Can you see now? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure every other mother out there knows that I am dying right now to help. Yeah, it's not going to happen, though. You I don't get to. Help you you don't you get what... to. I get you... to learn how to do this by myself. You like my pink tree? I do, actually. It Let's... looks really cute, right? I'm tempted to just leave that as is and keep that as a prize and then do the other pieces. <laughs> Mom's like grimacing behind the camera. I'm just watching. I want to give tips and trick on wet blending, but I won't. I shan't. I shall remain shut it up. <laughs> I shall remain no, shut it up. God! No, God, please, no! 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 Are you guys going to tell me what's so funny on the screen or no? Oh no, I don't. Gone. <laughs> oh look how cute all the narwhals are in the cup. Yeah. Oh, See? So narwhal, not norwhal. They're from Norway when your dad says it. Apparently. <laughs> See, look, it's turning out even without me knowing how to wet blend. There isn't a right or wrong way. Just FYI. 
either way I don't know how to and it's working so then obviously you do know how to now I'm gonna try something and we're gonna see if it messes it up I don't think so I think it's gonna have a really good texture yeah I mean this is well that's fun see because like you you instantly created um polka dots No, there's, there's absolutely no wrong way to do it at all. A uh, unicorn no, jumping out of a heart. On. Thank you, Sunbrand, for the unicorns jumping out of the unicorn heart. That is uh, 42, which makes it even better. <laughs> uh, like I'm, I'm not even joking. It's literally the size of my forearm. Kind of wild. It's for my acrylic painting. I know, but we don't hardly even do that anymore. No, yeah, I usually use it when I'm doing the, um... See, I wouldn't have touched it anymore. I didn't really like how the, the how dots? it turned out. Oh, yeah. I love that. It was like polka dotted instantly. I'm gonna add some more of this. Nope. Damn it, she's so hard to get. It's because I'm skilled. I did get Tyler, though. <laughs> yeah, that's not a surprise lately. No, it's not. I'm working here. <laughs> well, that's your problem, isn't it? <laughs> well, folks, there is one guaranteed way to startle them. <sighs> Electronics. I'm aiming low. Electronics, and I will throw paint at you. Do not squirt me with a water bottle. <laughs> you, however. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even work. There we go. <laughs> Electronics. Electronics. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're throwing things. I want it to be very bright and vibrant, so I, I very much, I'm very much excited for this one, even though I had no idea what I was going to do with it earlier. Alright, let's add more yellow. Oh yeah, they're getting there now. Oh yeah. There we go. I like that. He's my little friend now. Look at that cutie patootie. It's a cutie and a patootie. Alright. Now we get to go back to white and finish off these red mushrooms right here. I guess you could just call this one my centerpiece mushroom then, and it makes sense why it took so long. It's the only one that I was blending colors in. And plus, all these other ones are super simple. This, These types were just two layers of paint. These were red and then polka dots, and then these were literally one coat of paint. Then I'm probably going to do a different color on top of that. And this would have taken me so incredibly much longer if I didn't have Q-tips. <laughs> P 
because those little dots would have taken forever to get with a paintbrush. Oh. I am going to test something out and we are going to see if it works together. I'm gonna take one of these guys and I'm gonna put a glaze, a green glaze over it and hope it works. First I have to open the bottle. There we go, one of my favorite brushes to use. Here goes our little tester. Oh, now that's how you make a poisonous mushroom. That is awesome looking. It's just got a very subtle green tint to it. It's very nice looking. Flip. Come on. There we go. That's absolutely what I'm going to be doing with these. Actually, I have this orange over here that I might test also. Yeah, so I have this orange that I'm going to try also and see which one I like more. Or that, or that we like more. We'll decide as a group. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, he ran away. All right. I'm not as big of a fan of these as I am the green one, but at the same time, I have a lot of red, so adding some green might not be the best idea because then it'll be uh, Christmas instead of Halloween. So we have either the little red guy or we have the little green guy. Both have its drawbacks. Oh, I could try the blue. Yeah, let's try the blue. Apparently they're all just gonna be like a rainbow of colors. Oh, it's a bit thicker. <laughs> uh, where did my paintbrush go? There it is. Nope. There it is. Nope. There. Nope. Eventually I'll find it. Haha! -ha, I found it. There we go. Alright, and this one has to be a thinner coat because it is a thicker but it is also a translucent so I think it's good to be a as thick as it wants to be. <laughs> it's not as prominent. Let me try adding a little bit more. There's our options. We have the green, we have the red, and then we have the blue. I think the red ties in really well with the sunset one. The green has like a subtle green, so I don't think it's gonna turn out too Christmassy. Um, and then we'll wait for the blue one to dry and see how that one turns out. Uh, I do have a crimson I could try, but I think we've tried enough colors. <laughs> I think what's next is our big ones need to have a base coat on the bottom also, which I want to do in this blue, because there's actually a type of mushroom that doesn't look like either of these, but there's a type of mushroom that is one of the only natural blues 
uh, and it's edible also. It's and, and the bottom of it is a, like a bright blue and it's really cool. I don't remember what it's called, but it's cool. <laughs> There's our blue. All right, I'm gonna use a different brush for this because that one does not work very well for this. So far, it looks like we have one vote for the green. I'm just getting the rim of it also. That way I can assure that I have nowhere to hold on to it. <laughs> that way also if you look at the top of it you can see some of the blue peeking through also. Which gives it a really cool like weathered effect I think. Just kind of ironic with this vibrant blue but <laughs> No, we're going to go with it. I really like how that turned out. That's really cute. Yeah, I am too. It, it, it turned out really good. I was a little worried that I was going to go too bright, but I think it's going to be a great color whenever it's dry. Need to make sure I'm not getting any blue on the top, like right there. Oh, oh well. <laughs> it's gonna stay there, I guess. Alright. And now I'm gonna see if I can cover up that blue any. Right. I think that's looking good. That's the name of it is the indigo milk cap. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite type of mushroom because it's just so interesting. All right. And we're going to do that a little bit. And there, kind of, it's, it's still a little blue, but it kind of looks like it's like a moss sort of thing happening there. It's sticking to my hand. There we go. All right, all of our mushrooms are painted, except I just, on the spur of the moment, just decided that I'm going to add yellow dots to this, but I'm gonna make them much smaller than that. I'm gonna use the toothpick to do those. Oh, really? Is that one edible also? Oh, yeah, I like that. These are going to take a lot longer to poke on, though, for sure. Because with the smaller dots, you want more. Ah! I 
I'm not trying to make them perfect at all. I'm just trying to make them cute. That's their job, is to look cute. I could do that, but I want specific dots because I'm going with cutesy. Um, but a galaxy mushroom would be very cute. Mom, you have to make a galaxy mushroom now. It's your fault. You're the one who mentioned it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, but it's a very pretty name. <laughs> It's coca co coco cow? Ca no. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Okay, yeah, that's super cute. Kind of looks like it has chicken pox, but I like it, so. This one's probably going to have less spots because it's a younger version of that one. And also smaller. So. <laughs> oh, wrong direction. Come on, there you go. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Now the mushrooms appear to be done. Which means it is time for other parts. <laughs> there we go. This is going to shift to the side. Th I'm pretty sure no, I'm just going to keep this exactly as is because no, it's God, very cute no, and I absolutely no, love how this turned out. No, so I'm keeping that no. piece. Well, I'm keeping it anyways. Okay. <laughs> Talking when the sounds are going on. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I missed a couple mushrooms. There's so many. All right. So now we are going to move to felting. We're going to use this felt that has like this really fun texture to it. But you can see it really well at the side. It's more of a foam. But either way, it's going to get our job done. And we are going to put that on the inside of this bad boy. Because it's going to work well there. So that's what's going to happen. Alright. The first thing we've got to do is figure out how much we need. <laughs> Which uh, should be fairly simple if I had a pen. Uh, which I do not. Father with the magical, ow, electrical pen. Thank you for the uh, 42 uh, graveyards. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to go right there. Cool, thanks. I already have a pen. Dad, can I use your ruler? What, what? Gravestones, Thank you. I want at least a semi straight line, so I wanted to get the ruler to make sure I was staying even ish. But perfection is not a necessity with this because we are here to have fun. That line is what I like to call good enough. So we're gonna grab our fancy uh, scissors. I absolutely love Fiskars. It's they're phenomenal, uh, and these are from the uh, Joanne's. They're from the uh, Christmas uh, time, and Mom is doing a goofy little dance, trying to get me, but she's not gonna get me. I'm not gonna scare you, but maybe you giggle. <laughs> You have such a pretty smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put the extra to the side. And then we're going to see how well I measured it. I didn't even step on it. Yeah. 
<laughs> just leave. Just I leave. I literally <laughs> picked my foot up and he hit his ear on my leg. I, I'm, he freaked out ye uh, yesterday because I was in the same room or something like that. It was weird. Alright, we're going to cut right there. And I'm not taking the sticker off because the foam was tearing off with it. Um, so it's just going to stay on there because that's what's what going to happen. All right. And then I'm going to check it again. Once again, not going for perfection. If we were going for perfection, we'd buy it online. <laughs> but this is more fun. All right. I think I'm going to leave that little lip there. No, I'm not. I'm not going to leave that there because it doesn't like it. Uh, about like a centimeter or something like that. It's hardly any extra. So let's just fix that. Are you guys messing with me? No. no. We were referring to the fact that we haven't gotten to see the cup filled up yet either. So <laughs> it was really cool. And thank you, Sunburn. Oh, it is poppin' full. <laughs> and I really like this foam because it is, um, it looks like dirt, which is really fun. Alright. Ooh, I'd say that's like just about there. Sir, sir, quiet. Alright. We are almost at the right level. I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time. Just a dot, not a lot, right? <laughs> Except we're not glowing yet. Yes, he saw the um, he saw the uh, our automatic sensor lights go on, and he just went woof 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 woof, woof like a psycho, because that's what he is—a psycho. But he's our psychopath. You can't have him. He's ours. <laughs> little bit lower just to make sure I don't have to do it a fifth time. <laughs> there we go. I think that should be enough. There we go. Helps if I put it in the correct way. Right. There we go. And that is absolutely perfect. Makes me very happy. Alright, so now that that's settled, now I get to just make the smallest little hole. And that is what our light wire will go through. Literally just cut a tiny little triangle out. Now before we glue this in, I want to get the light in. And here is our light string for today. It's got little leaves on it. It's super cute. I absolutely love it. It's very adorable. But there's no real spot on, the, on our thing to uh, hide it. So we decided underneath uh, your compartment would be the perfect spot. Now, I'm probably going to end up having to do this a little off screen because it's not going to be easy because I have to be gentle with the clay and then I have to get the leaves through the wood. I got you on a bigger screen. Awesome. I got like three leaves through now. <laughs> This is why I wanted to do it before putting the felt in, is because that way I don't have to fight around the felt and the wood. Because either way I'd have to fight through the wood. But I'm also trying to be very gentle because I don't want to mess anything up, <laughs> which I'm very good at. <laughs> yeah, like you lost me. 
No, it's right here. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, is that what you were looking for? Yeah. Oh, well, I have it. <laughs> Got a little snag here. There we go. What's really funny is I was um, I was getting prepared uh, for the stream tonight. And I had like I had a ha less than half an hour left, and uh, I was pulling everything out of the bag so I wouldn't be wrinkling the bag up a lot while I was doing this. And at the bottom of the bag, I completely forgot I bought it, was my favorite type of chocolate. It had been sitting there waiting for me to do this stream apparently, because <laughs> it it ended up at the bottom of the bag. So now I get to eat that when we're done here. <laughs> but first, I gotta get the lights through. And I am about an eighth of the way. <laughs> and my arms are already getting tired. I guess it's karma for making Dad hold that wreath for so long <laughs> on our really last episode. <laughs> Starting to get a flow on. And it's trying to smack me. Yes, I also have to eat dinner before that. And then tomorrow, I have to go to the store because I ran out of lollipops. And I really like my lollipops. <laughs> I ate my last one today. I, I limit myself to one lollipop per day, but I really like lollipops. So it's really hard to only eat one per day. It's even worse whenever you know it's your last one in your stockpile. <laughs> Ooh, we're almost there. AK, we're halfway there. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving someone a colonoscopy or something. I'm trying to get this through a tiny little hole. <laughs> Time to go upside down. It's good we didn't drill the whole hole any smaller, because any smaller and I wouldn't have been able to get anything through. <laughs> and we are through. It sits perfectly at the bottom right there. And then you can just turn it on and off. We're just gonna pull that little bit more through, but make sure it has enough little give way, just a little bit extra. That way you can pull it up and out whenever you need to replace it. So that's all of the extra we're gonna give you. The rest of it is going to be underneath of the moss, glued down with the rest of it. <sighs> okay. That took forever. Thank you. Thank you. I tried. I tried. <laughs> All right. So now that is going to go right there. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone's applauding. I appreciate it. It's very loud, though. <laughs> I'm getting attacked, so I'm going to wear them as a necklace right now. Hey, thank you! <laughs> Do you like my necklace, guys? It's, it's, it's fall. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that fits in perfectly, so now it's time for the glue. So I'm just going to be using PVA, just trying to shake it like a uh, paint for a second there. <laughs> All right, um, Papa, can you get me a sponge brush? My necklace is attacking me. We have a surplus of sponge brushes in the house because we do a lot of resin uh, work for our tiles. It's not a surplus. 
You can wash glue out. You can't wash uh, resin out. Uh, yep, and it's just going to go right in my empty spot. Copester, yeah. Copester, yes, correct, Mother. Copester. I, I think that should be plenty. So this isn't going to be very easy because I have to work around, oop, loud noises, I have to work around this. But if I think if I do it like this, it's definitely going to make it a bit easier. So. Oh, that's not even near enough. I'm not even going to bother closing that all the way because I know I'm going to need more. <laughs> so much I'm not looking for a perfect coat because I don't think anyone's really gonna be able to tug on this very much I just want to make sure that it stays secure right. but I gotta act quick fast That's probably the stupid thing, stupidest thing I've ever done. Thank you for the large amount of robots. Oh. I don't know why I keep trying to put it in backwards. I'd say that's pretty good and in there. Uh, there we go. And then afterwards, I'll after that glue dries, I'll go ahead and uh, paint this down here and make it look more um, woodsy. Like it's supposed to be in there. Now let me just uh, get that glue down at the bottom nice and flat. That way it doesn't leave any bumps. Well, I suppose I could um, do a circle down there. But I just, I don't, I don't know if it'll turn out well, but I am absolutely all for trying it. Oh, it's 8 o'clock already? I haven't even started. <laughs> Alright, right, I'd say that's pretty close to my circle. And I'm not looking for it to be perfect. If I was looking for perfect, I wouldn't be making it myself. Yes, you would. <laughs> oh, 
let's see how well that fits. <laughs> Almost perfect. If I just put in like dark coloring on the outsides right there, it'll look pretty good. Or I could take some of this and see if that'll work. Oh, helps if I'm able to see inside of it though. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I think that is good. Whoop. And I also think that gives me enough protection to go ahead and put that down, which means I can close it up. Isn't that adorable? Alright. Now this, it is completely dry now. And this guy just sits right on top of there. And that way you can put stuff inside of it without it getting stuck around your um, battery. Like what I, if, if, if I was keeping this, what I would do with it is put candy in there, which would be absolutely amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, this brush isn't very good, so I'm going to use this to clean up this corner because this side isn't really wanting to stay on. means right now we can close this guy up and set him to the side because we are currently done with that guy. All right, which means we can move on to this bad boy, which naturally means we are ready for this guy again. <laughs> All right, so this wire is going to go underneath the moss and we're going to angle it to where the back of the tree is at the gate, which is over here. That way I can start it at the, um, the entrance and then end it at the entrance also. Now we're gonna move the paint out of the way. And we're just gonna go ahead and do through the loop. Everyone who watched last time remembers the uh, fun weaving you have to do with this stuff. <laughs> but this, since it's so large, I won't be able to do as much weaving. Um, but through this first spot, I definitely want to get it through. Just to make sure it stays, you know. The rest of it's probably just going to be looped around this right here. The top of the pole. This isn't the easiest part of it, for sure. The easiest part is probably going to be getting mom to grab the hot glue gun for me because I completely forgot to grab that before starting. Um, but it's probably going to just be putting the moss in because the moss I'm literally just going to plop just big wads full at the bottom and then um, gluing it in. Almost through. But I'm probably going to have a lot extra uh, after I finish weaving it. And I don't actually have to weave it all right now. I just have to get it through this first spot right now. But I, it'll definitely be out of the way more if I start it now. There we go. So now that's weaved in. And all of... I'm actually going to pull this leaf back in. I'm going to push it down and that way it'll stay down whenever I'm, it can't be too high otherwise it's enough. Okay. And then I'm going to glue it down right here that way it stays down while I'm working. Oh, you didn't plug it in. No I didn't, I can't reach over this video. It's better. 
All right, and we are pretty much ready for the hot glue to start. I can't. I'm pretty sure you can, and I can't because I can't. I guess it means it's time for a water break. Awesome. And you got me, I'm going to need a lot more hot glue. I, that's all I found at the moment, so I'm working on it. Fine. I should have another thing downstairs in one of my drawers. Quick check back in with our cute little mushrooms. Still cute. And the moss we're using today is just the leftover moss from uh, the last two wreaths I made. Uh, one of which I did for a live stream that some of y'all were a part of. Looks like I'm losing mushrooms, uh, but I can easily put those back on after I'm finished gluing. I want to make sure that I might actually twist this a little bit. That way this has less room to go. Yeah, so I'm going to completely twist it so the front like that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nope, not yet. Alright. So what I'm gonna do right now is secure this down the way I want it. And we recently got uh, this Insta set in. It's a glue accelerator. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use E stripping on me. Gross. I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. Oh, wow, that's a big splash. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the actual glue on the bottom of the trunk. Now if I could get someone to open the glue for me because I can't open it. Oh, actually, let me try this first. Is that a screw off top? No, it's a pop off. Here you go. I'm gonna wait for someone else to do the difficult parts for me. Thank you. I'll fill you. Uh, no, you won't. All right, and now we're gonna be careful not to put it all the way put it as little over as possible because it, it does still have a bunch of stuff in it. Alright, glob a ton of glue on there because it has an accelerator. Make sure we put it on the correct direction. Just like that. That's on correct. And it is already stuck on there. Absolutely love that. Yeah. Thank you, Accelerator. All right. I'm gonna pull this back through. It decided to come out. All right. Oh my goodness! Look how cute that is. Don't like. Don't know what drawer you were talking about downstairs. Uh, in my three little things. The, the, the little plastic things? Yeah. It should have been like on the top three. Nope. I will keep looking. Alright. Not quite there yet. But getting there. Oh my goodness. That is just that is just so cute. I was worried that this would end up being too small because it shrinked a lot whenever it was drying. But it's it's a cutie patootie. It's cute. Alright. Oh my goodness. Look at my hands. <laughs> I look like I was painting a sunset piece. Because you got that bright blue and the dark red and orange and white. <laughs> Put that there. Alright. We're going to this and clean up down here. Because that super glue, completely dry now. Absolutely phenomenal. Makes me very happy. Alright. So 
this should be ready by now. And I have just enough room to reach in. <laughs> Gonna push the cord down into it, to make sure it stays there. And we're gonna do that to this side too. Make sure it stays down there. Alright. Okay. Pretty That's sure it. there's more downstairs, but this should be enough. Yeah, I cannot find them below. So we have to make six glue sticks for this entire thing. So it's going to be a challenge, but we're going to try. <laughs> you can do it. You can also use two behaviors. Yes, but hot glue is more fun. Mm -mm. The danger of burning myself makes it more adventurous. <laughs> You can just do your job, please. Baby Daddy smacked me. You guys are all witnesses. No one saw it. Not even they me. I heard it. Dad was just clapping his hands. Don't <laughs> <I> smack me. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's not a surprise. And they complain about it hurting. <laughs> Are you throwing finger at me? Nope. That was daddy. In the wrong direction, but okay. Right. Well, it just got on videotaped, so proven. Alright, so we're just gonna take big old clobs of this. Like this is perfect. And we're just going to glue first. <laughs> this I'm literally just putting globs of glue at the bottom and it's making very weird sounds and I'm going to ignore that. The hot, that, that's as far as the hot glue gun will reach. Uh, and then we're gonna squish that down. And this is essentially going to be our grass, but I had moss, so we're doing moss. <laughs> and that is already looking awesome. And Max, if you're counting, it is very cute. I'm trying not to tear it above this uh, but it's kind of difficult to get it on screen at the same time <laughs> just trying to find a spot where it'll come apart and like a good chunk although by the looks of it I might actually end up with leftover moss which I was not expecting I was expecting to use all of it but I might add some of it to the tree and maybe hide uh, some of the uh, opening see how that'll fit. That'll fit nicely, so we're going to add a little glue. And by a, lot, a little, I mean a very large glob. <laughs> Alright, that should be enough. Drip off, thank you. And if I have any holes afterwards, I'll just take smaller pieces and shove those in. Okay. It just, it can't decide where it wants to go. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more glue. 
put it right there. Push that down, make sure that stays down. Probably gonna end up trimming some of this so it can be a little lower. Uh, but for right now, it's staying as is. <laughs> Now we're going to use this piece because I want to use this piece. It's going to fit perfectly too. Ooh. There we go. Oh, that was a bad plan, but it happened. So we're going to roll with it. go. Now we're going to peel this off the tree. <laughs> so as you see, we do have quite a few gaps, but those are easy enough to fix. Now, one of my favorite things about this crafting table and our art desk is there's a trash can because there's a huge mess happening here. I don't know how much of it you can see, but there is a lot of it. <laughs> I'm just gluing more chunks in. Spider webs. Oh, more spider webs. All right, and then we're just gonna keep spinning it and keep adding. Even though after we're done adding, we're gonna be removing. Because I really like this spot where it's nice and, and short. So I want to I want to get the rest of this down. And I don't know if I'm going to have to mat it or cut it. But we're going to figure it out together. Things are falling over and I am ignoring them. <laughs> Alright. It's right there. I have a piece glued to my hand. Yeah, I, re I really do love this accelerator stuff. I believe Mom found it on Amazon. It's the same brand as the glue we use, which is also am amazing, which both dry. It dries really fast on its own, but sometimes, you know, it gets onto a certain material and it doesn't like to gl dry very fast. So you just have to uh, add the accelerator and it makes it super fast. Because with this metal, I wouldn't be surprised if it was still trying to dry. Uh, but it's already dry now because we used the accelerator. Alright, so now on this side it's very, very poofy. So I'm going to try and like squish it down, break it down a little bit. Cause I want it to have that matted look and I don't want it to be super high up. Shove that in here. Right. Right. Shove that in there because I really just I don't want to see any of the black showing through. feel like I'm trying to paint my nails with, with uh, hot glue. <laughs> you see this, um, well actually you can't really see it, but the hole is right here for the wire and you can't hardly see it even looking for it. Right now I feel like I'm just shoving as much as possible into the smallest possible space. <laughs> but 
but so far it is looking phenomenal. So now we just gotta squish it down to make sure it's not taking up too much space. gonna add a couple more pieces here and then I pointed to the whole thing naturally a little piece right here I feel like one of those crime scene boards with the strings going everywhere, connecting everything. It's what it currently feels like. <laughs> Except the strings are actually spider webs. <laughs> oh, and I glued it to my hand. That's the problem with gluing this moss stuff is it, um, it go the glue goes straight through it because there's so many holes. Mom's laughing in the background, but I made a lot of hilarious jokes just now, so I don't know which one she's laughing at. Alright, I think that is enough moss for now, so we're putting it back into the bag. Right, and I am covered in moss. <laughs> okay. After a long-waited response she finally responded she was laughing at me gluing it to my hand hey. i waited with bated breath and she finally responded <laughs> so i'm just i don't know if you guys can hear it but this crunching sound is really nice it's very satisfying all right now we're going to work with this just so I can get it out of my way. Honestly, right now, all I'm going to do is just wrap it like this around. That's definitely what I'm going to just start with. I'm going to make sure I don't hide any of the cute little things it's got happening around. All right, it's on my shoulder now. All right, and now I'm back to the gate. So, honestly, this is way more than I think I need for this size. Um, but I don't think you can cut this type of thing. And I'm knocking everything over. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be great because I have about an entire another circumference of extra. Problem is, if I do that and it doesn't work, then I'll have to start over. Yeah, I can do this before you better wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's gonna act like Christmas lights with the you you knock one out and they're all out. I don't know if it's gonna act like that, so I don't really want to risk that. Let me see what it looks like if I do a oops, layer down here. Definitely makes it look like a fall night. That's for sure. I'm trying, I'm trying. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, let me see what it looks like on. Okay. So remember, the mushrooms are going to go around here also. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty nice. I hear clapping, so I think I think this is a yes. <laughs> All right. I hear more clapping, more clap, a lot more clap. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to get this moss out of my way because oh my god, there is so much. And this guy is going to go to the side right now because we are back to the mushrooms. But that is not the extra moss this is simply the moss that fell off of the extra moss <laughs> it got underneath the mat also so i have a lot of extra cleaning to do whenever we come off <laughs> as i would assume gordon ramsay would say is keep your work area clean <laughs> and that is what i am trying to do Pretty sure he'd yell it. Yes. With much many more cuss words. But, you know. Family friendly. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that blue turned out great. Alright. Time to stem these toppers. Alright. So I think I want this guy to, like, slant a little bit like that. Sort of like a sun hat. Now that's looking super cute. So yeah, that's absolutely what I'm going to do. Alright, uh, glue. Hey, Father. Yeah. I need the glue open again. Bring the accelerator into it? <laughs> no, it's just too tough for me to open. My hands don't work that well. See? It's not easy. Ah, stop! It's you! It's not the pen, it's you. You're electrocuting me. It's you. It's him. He's electrocuting me. Alright. that not a lot oh not that much because I'm gonna need it soon all right then just like that yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use the accelerator on this just because it makes things fast Actually, I think I'm going to be a smart cookie because this is a spray. So I'm going to spray a little bit in here. That way I can just dip my my stem into it. Because I'm a smarty pants. And done gluing. Just that fast. Just done. That's it, just done. But oh my god, that is so cute! <laughs> Come get me. Fuck that one out. <laughs> yeah. Hi, welcome back, Nuclear Sea. I am making a mushroom garden. <laughs> Alright, let's sort of see. Since this one is such a large one, I think it would be really cute if I gave it the shortest stem. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's super cute. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Alright. Just a dot. Not a lot. And I'm going to say that every single time. Because that was ingrained in my head. In elementary school. And I still live there, apparently. Alright. And cured. Will never cease to amaze me. Woo! All right, I'm going to use this guy on that, because literally made for it. Look at that. All right. All right, everyone say it with me. Just a dot, not a lot. All right. 
dip in the accelerator. Oh, that's a good tip. Because I was spritzing and it went everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Nick Killer C. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I just, we have an accelerator that goes with this glue. So what I did is I just, because it's, it's a spray bottle, so I just sprayed it into one of these things because I'm going to have to use it over and over again. Uh, and it's way too much if I just continue spraying it. So I just did it into there, and it's working great. All right, I think I'm going to use this one for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let's say it again, guys. Just a dot, not way a lot. Too much. <laughs> Someone's feeling aggressive today. All right, poke it in there. <laughs> Nuclear C knows how to play the home game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Air high five. All right, I don't think I actually made enough stems. Whoopsie. <laughs> Uh, so let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I do not have enough stems. Which means we're going to lose one of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and do it this one because this one has a lot of smudging. Um, Father, have a mushroom cap. Can't you just make another stem later? <laughs> <laughs> it's you! That's the third time he shocked me. No, you can just have it. Don't eat that. Do not, don't make me confiscate it. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is, but I can't make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this one on this one. All right, who's ready to say it? Just a dot, not a lot. There we go. Just a lot, maybe some more dots. You guys never went to elementary school, apparently. <laughs> All right, dip in the accelerator. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I think I'm driving nuclear C and saying. Not too much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> it was in there, but the because of how thin it is, it's fragile, so I gotta put just a dot, not a lot, but I'm gonna put a little bit of a bigger dot. That way it can wrap around it more stably. I know, dorky, I that's like stuck in my brain. Just a dot, not a lot. <laughs> I know, I purposely did too much. It, it, it was just two dots. It was just two dots. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It didn't get me, though. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. It looks like I completely forgot these guys. I kept turning it up to try and get Cora. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three options now that there's seems like there's a lot more people here um we have the green the red or the blue that is going to be these guys so you guys get to choose i still say green yeah the green does look really nice i'm just worried of making it too christmasy it doesn't look christmasy i also go green you can't see you are colorblind red green colorblind specifically <laughs> Mom always picks my colors. Dorky, yes. yes. That's my lady. I think green is the right choice here. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one. My, for those of you ha who haven't seen my hands yet. Yeah. The artistic flow. This is what happens when I paint because this is how I paint. <laughs> All right, since I have toothpicks now, I'm just going to use these. Someone stole my paintbrushes. I know who did it. Because I thought you were done painting. I thought I was, too. Shh, you're really loud. You're really loud. Oh. I'm trying to stream right now. 
I am Cora. Oh, yeah. A lot more than a duck, so we're not gluing. That's a lot. <laughs> Normally the neck gets like the neck gets all the time. I'm going to punch you. Stay away from the neck. Don't yell. Hurry up. Go faster. Go faster. Yeah, actually, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see on screen, but the green really does look the best. <laughs> Still didn't get me. <laughs> I told y'all yesterday I was going to be a toughie. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure they have it at full volume. It is very loud, and it is not getting me. It is scaring them every single time, as well as, as I believe our dog, too. Yeah, he just growled. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like the rubber ducky of doom. Right. I'm absolutely going to put a gloss over these because this is the green one and it dulls a lot. But yeah. if I put a gloss on top, it's going to be great. <laughs> Damn it. I, I'm not even seeing it flash across the screen before it goes off. It's just not scaring me. No. <laughs> like you'll see it now. <sighs> Cora. No, I mean like in chat. Chat's up to date. Oh. Cora? Yeah. Since Nuclear C just joined us, you should hold up the the where the they're going to go. Oh, yeah. I should. Sh Nuclear C, you haven't been able to see the. Uh... <laughs> eh? Eh? Yeah? So I left the lights on on accident, but, you know, it's perfect. Um. This little guy has a secret compartment. Hmm. Hmm. So candies. you can put like candy or your dice in here. Um, and then you lift that up and that's where the battery pack is. I'm very proud of myself in case you couldn't see that. I very much love what is happening here. And you can thank uh, my mom uh, for uh, making the tree because she can make trees. So. <laughs> yeah, but I have to say it was like so much fun walking around the store and just watching you pick up like, ooh, and this, ooh, and this, ooh, and this will work with this. And it was just like literally building the entire thing, walking down the aisle in the store. It was awesome. <laughs> I, uh, one of the things I didn't get from the store initially was the skeleton hand that holds the, uh, that is the pickup for the mud and I got that from Joanne's, uh, and I, I got the entire skeleton. It's sitting behind me right now. Um, but I just, I literally just cut off its hand and then shoved it into the clay. <laughs> and then that became the pickup for that because I, I knew I wanted something for that because it was something I wanted. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um... I wanted it to be easy to pick up. I didn't want anyone to have to struggle with it, you know? So that's what I figured out to do because I'm a smart cookie. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't even shown you guys like the best part yet. So most of our supplies today we got from Michaels. Included in those is our, my, our little snail friends. We have little snail friends that are going into our garden today, as well as little butterflies, but they're not as good as the snails. Look, the snails. Love the snails. Oh, uh, actually, he wasn't in innocent. He had stolen a loaf of bread from a baker, um, and as you know, one of the penalties for theft is losing the hand you stole with. So he lost his hand. So it's fine. <laughs> So, I still have the blue and the red one, but I think I'm going to leave those as is, and they're just going to be different colors on here. Although, I also don't know if I have enough here for all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so one of these bad boys is going to be left out of the party. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so cute! He's not dry yet! <laughs> no, he doesn't have a family. He lives alone. He's also uh, very rich. He just wanted um, bread. 
and he's also already dead, so it's fine. <laughs> look, look how happy he is. He's smiling. It's fine. He didn't want that hand anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, so since those guys are drying, we're going to go ahead and glue these bad boys on. So now it's time. That's right, folks. Just a dot, not a lot. All right, let's do this one. <laughs> Probably. That it that is a distinct possibility that, that that was his cause of death. Um, but to be fair, he was using an entire bottle of Elmer's glue for two pieces of paper. That's all I'm saying. All right. And he is on there. All right. Just a dot. Not a lot. I have seven more to go, people. And we are going to say it every single time. I should have said that when I was doing your face paint. <laughs> Probably. My my face paint today is sponsored by my mother, who can draw. Thank you, mother. <laughs> She's bowing. My god, these are so cute! Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> Alright, all right, you guys ready? Just, Just a dot, a not, not a lot. lot. Alright, we're going to go with the short one this time. <laughs> Why? Why? Because you're my baby. I'm 19. Your point was what? I'm sorry. But I don't laugh like that anymore. <laughs> Just, Just a dot, dot not, not a lot. lot. I started it before you. Get out of my brain. Poke it all in there. And then after I have these all stemmed, mo some of these are going to have gloss on them. I'm going to do a gloss varnish on them. <laughs> yes, I am. I am 19. I probably look a lot older. <laughs> That's what most people say. Just a dot. Not a lot. Thank you for everyone who is playing the home game. <laughs> that is older than my eldest sibling. Well, you can go ahead and blame me for your insanity. I'm pretty sure it's my fault. <laughs> Only a little, though. All right. So one of these little caps isn't going to happen because I didn't put enough on here. So it's either the blue or the red that's not going on. Uh, let's look at it this way. Let's look at it that way. I'm going to leave the red one in. Alright. Pretty sure I'm smearing something somewhere. Not entirely sure what. <laughs> Alright. Who's ready now? Just a dot, not a lot. Just a dot almost completely filled this one. <laughs> All right. There's one on. Oh my goodness, that is so cute! 
Oh, it's making me angry how cute it is. <laughs> I saw a cat. Why did I see a cat? Viking kitty. <laughs> it was a very cute cat. Just a dot, not a lot. Ah! Push the green button because I like pushing green buttons. Uh, I now have too tight of a space in order to dip it. So now I have to resort to brushing the accelerator on. But that also works. Oh my god, look how cute that is! It's not a lot, it's just a dot. It looks like a lot because it's a little spot. Eh? <laughs> Rhymed that on the spot. Ooh! Just a dot, not a lot. <laughs> Thank you, I try, I try. All right, this one's gonna go here. Did something just explode? Looks like something exploded. <laughs> really? I'm Cora and I'm insane. I know I'm insane. If I wasn't insane, I wouldn't be here going little mushrooms. <laughs> and you're all insane because you're watching me glue the little mushrooms. <laughs> it's past most of y'all's bedtimes and yet here we are, gluing mushrooms. <laughs> all right. And we're also saying, just a dot, not a lot. Oh my goodness, I mean, look how cute that is. I am absolutely fine with starting a cult. That is all I'm saying. And you cannot quote me on that because you are power to my cult and you cannot out me. That's how cults work. Just a dot, not a lot. Go for it. <laughs> Mom, I have to start my cult somehow. <laughs> Alright, there's the red one. My goodness. Look how cute. That's all I'm saying. Also, I'm also saying just a dot, not a lot. <laughs> my parents hate me. <laughs> Brush it on, brush it, brush it, brush it on. Oh, gotta be careful because some of these are a bit flimsy. There we go. Just barely made that one on. <laughs> All right, guys, last one. Everyone join in. Just a dot, not That's a lot. Not. <laughs> yes, also not snot. Good job. <laughs> oh, it fell, it literally fell on. That's amazing. Ooh, actually, I'm going to use just a dot, not a lot, because this little guy is falling off. And we don't want that. We want everyone in our cult to stay together. All right. 
throw that away immediately because it's got glue on it and we don't want that sticking anywhere. Right. Boom. And look at that. And our little, little red friend. So cute. Actually, take this off the plate because now we get to do some fun gluing. Oop, that. Right, oop. Okay, now. We're going to put some gloss on a uh, select few of our uh, mushrooms. So I really want some of these to shine, but not all of them because some of them shouldn't shine. Just like in a cult. <laughs> go nice shiny mushroom <laughs> exactly seems like nuclear C is gonna be my left-hand man I'm just setting these off to the side. That way they're out of the way and drying nice and safe. And that, Father, is why you are at the bottom of the cult to totem pole. Is because you have heard that saying so many times that you think that is now part of the cult phrase, but it's not. It's just you. <laughs> Look at our shiny little mushrooms. I've gone mad with power, by the way, guys. But it's okay, because I was already crazy. Just now a different type of crazy as well. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I think this guy is going to stay not shiny, as well as this one this one and this one but our sunset is gonna go shinied I'm actually gonna avoid this spot right here that doesn't look like the same color because that way it um, looks like it's something growing on it or it's a dead spot that way it doesn't just look like a mess up, which is exactly what it was. But now it looks like an unmess up. Ooh, fancy. All right. Oh. We've got someone falling over over here. Which means it's time for just a dot. Not a lot.
probably can't see that very well, but I have to make sure I don't move it a lot. Otherwise, it'll fall off. So since some of these are ready to go in, I'm going to go ahead and start placing. I think that one's probably going to go right there. Yeah, that one's going to go right there. So I'm going to, because this is soup, because this isn't super glue or any other type of glue, it's hot glue. I can put a glob. Feel free to glob. <laughs> Now I think this one is going to go right there. Yeah. This one's going to go right here. Glob it up. Plop it in. Oop. And then break it off. <laughs> I know this must be very confusing for you nuclear C, but not every type of glue needs just a dot. I know, and I'm very sorry for the confusion, but some of these need a glob. Oh, my goodness. It's going crazy. created a monster <laughs> but that's all f that, but that's all right because I like having monsters all right fat glob plop it in This one. <laughs> <Quack. laughs> Dad's trying to make sure he doesn't cuss. <laughs> I pooped. He did. He pooped. Okay. It seems like this guy is a bit too big to be on his own. So he's going to have to be. Uh, over here with this other big guy my goodness there we go all right now I have to get some over here because so far I've got them all grouped up in one spot <laughs> they can pay me I'm the cult leader after all I'll take three thousand dollars, please, Dad. I that guy still needs glossed, so let's move to these bad boys. Nice and shiny. Nice little glob. I'm actually gonna use tweezers because I can't quite fit. Oh, never mind. That worked worse than my hands. <laughs> Alright. Alright.
thank you, Sunbrand, for uh, the lot of salt. That will definitely help against the demons later today. 42. The 42 salts. It's very helpful. Thank you. Yes, Dorky Dino, you are absolutely correct. When it's hot, use more than a dot. Otherwise, it's just a dot, not a lot. <laughs> Mother's threatening to murder me, so if I die tonight, the police know who did it. <laughs> I'm covered in glue. Some of them jiggle and it's really cute. This one's going to go here. So far, this is absolutely adorable, and I'm absolutely loving what's happening here. As well as my cult. It's thriving so well right now, and I'm so proud of all of my cultists. You guys are doing great. Just keep doing you. Which is just a dot, not a lot. I'm going to make a brochure for my cult. That's it. I'm coming over there. I can. I can make buttons. I can make little pins. Alright. Okay. So everyone who is ready to be glued in has been glued in. I'm going to try and see if I can fix this guy right here, because he's not conforming to our cultist ways. <sighs> Technically, I'm not the one killing her. That is all I'm saying. <laughs> It's your turn to do the dishes, Ma. <laughs> I live for danger. I'm a cultist leader after all. So let's gloss these bad boys. You know what? If there's some leftover spider webs in there, it's fine because it's Halloween themed. Once again, look how cute. Absolutely adorable, for sure. What was I doing again? That's what I was doing. I was grabbing the gloss. I have the full capability of starting a cult at any time I want. And that, my dear cultist friend, is the facts.
Now I need a D&D &D character that is literally just trying to convince the rest of the party to start a cult with me. And that they'll be my first um, cultists. And I'll be the cult leader. That would be so much fun. Were you trying to get me with that? Because you failed. Praying to a kraken or something, right? No, we're praying to the glue gods. Duh. How do you think glue's made? Yeah, With gods. They're all, they're all like big giant. Do you think we use kraken glue? <laughs> <laughs> we don't use kraken glue. Maybe crazy glue sometimes if we're feeling wild. But no, it's it's mostly just super glue. Ooh, whoopsie. Well, we just got a little bit more to do. Hey, I opened it! The glue gods have given me the will to open the glue bottle. I need another toothpick. I'm out of toothpicks. Are you throwing them away? I only got three toothpicks and I covered all of those in super glue. I can't reuse those. No, I couldn't. You don't know how to use glue. You're not part of the glue cult. When, well, you're, when your dad, who's not allowed in the glue cult, thinks he knows how to use glue. Ugh, so annoying. We're all out of toothpicks. No, we're not. Oh, you're saying that box is. Okay. It was just an empty box? Yeah. And mine are downstairs. I'll just use the paper clip. Been a while since we've ran out of glue. Uh, pick. Uh, uh, oh man, I forgot what they're called already. Toothpicks. That's what they're called. It's been a while since we've ran out of toothpicks. All right, just a dot, not a lot. All right, so that guy's gluing back in. All right, and now we get to choose a spot for him. I think we're gonna go right here. I think this is a nice spot for it. But we gotta let it dry first. Alright. Alright. Hot glob. Put it in. Oh my goodness! Guess what, guys? It's cute! Of course it's cute! It's cute every time. Cause that's what it does, is be cute. Just light it up? It was already lit up. Oh. Although now I think it's time to de-light it up. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, no, 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 no. Copyrighted song music. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Right? Is this something you can hold up or no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Open it up. Oh. Technically, you can take that hand out, turn the lights off, and put a candle in there. One of those LED candles. And that would be really cool lit up like that, too. Yeah. Honestly, I probably could have put that as the centerpiece. But I like but we found this better. It's pretty big. It's pretty freaking snazzy, my guys. It's the wrong one for there. Oh, we're going to light back up. I can turn on these. Well, there y'all have it. We did it! Well done. Mushroom Garden with Secret Compartment and 
in the meantime, we had also started a cult because that is how I roll. Super easy to make. I got most of the supplies from Michael's, uh, some of them from Joann's. Um, Dad, are you putting the Discord link in? The Discord link? Yeah, uh, Nuclear's, my, my cultist asked for a uh, Discord link. Yes, I will grab it right now. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I do have to leave because I don't really uh, want to be stared at while I eat and sleep um, and go to the bathroom because I do have to leave eventually. But don't worry, I will be back next week. Should I tell them what I'm doing next week? I was giving, I was giving my, my cult leader clay or glue. glue. This glue is inferior to this glue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I have more glue for you. Congratulations! That's, that's why I don't go near things. Mother has made a large mess, which is why she is not allowed in the glue, glue cult. Alright, you guys ready to see what we have happening next week? Are we all going to electrocute My feet are off the ground. Right, Daddy, have me on the big? Uh, yes. Alright, so what we're doing next week is I am taking this coffin, or this coffin, you guys get to choose. And I am turning it into a mimic. That is right. Coffin mimic. And I am very excited. It is going to be epic. And once again, it is either fancy one or this one. I don't, I don't know how to name these. Fancy one or this one. You guys get to choose uh, which one I'm doing. Um, but either way, it's going to be a mimic. And I'm going to make both of them into a mimic. It just depends on which one is going to be streamed. Uh, I'm probably going to... I might actually practice with the one you guys decide not to. Yes, this one's Roger and this one's Willie. <laughs> because that's what my cultist wants. We don't name things Doug because Doug's an asshole. So are you for making such a mess. I'm cleaning it up. Slowly. No Pick it up. Somebody might actually be named Doug. <laughs> That's true. I named one of my minis Doug, and he bites me a lot, so he's an asshole. All right, so this is Roger. This is Willie. Bring in your votes, my guys. Which one's Roger? One for Roger, Willie. Willie. Roger. One, one for Roger, one for Willie. No. Yes. One for Roger? Mom, out loud, vocally. Thank you, Sunbrand, for the graveyards. Yay! Thank you, Lucy. You are very awesome. All right, so that's two for Willie. You guys have about, like, one more minute. Oh, tied. Oh. Sunbrand is just spamming us with some graveyards. Uh -huh. She likes to fill thank the cup. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so, so far it is tied. For Roger versus Will Roger versus Willie. One more vote and that's gonna be it. Thank you, Sunbrand. <laughs> more graveyards, thirteen. And also, more importantly, Sunbrand, thank you for the Taco Bell earlier. Yes, thank you for the Taco Bell. It was very nice. It tasted very good. Alright, we need one more vote. We're just gonna sit here and wait for one more I vote. Yet. Then vote. Uh, oh. Sunbrand, you already voted. Mine is my mess is cleaned up. I said it. Which is which? You missed a spot. Shut Roger <laughs> Willie. What did you vote? I voted. You know what? No, because you're cheating. So we're going to go with Willie, because that's what my main cultist wants. Willie wins! <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear C, you're not my best friend, and you have no, um, you don't get to fight it. You don't get to fight it. That's what's happening. And Willie's happening next week on Wednesday.